Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is David A. Stone and welcome to another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. Behind me is my kitchen here at Stonehaven that I built and now I'm gonna show you how I built it. This was back in 2016 and I never actually published these videos, so let's do this. Okay, so I just went to Home Depot, made my quick run, and uh, I ended up getting these half-inch cedar boards for spacers on the bottom to where the cabinets will hang level. And then got a pipe wrench to remove the, uh, the gas pipe where it is right now. Uh, I got a hacksaw to, to change the uh, electrical um, conduit. Now, I always try to get the best tools I possibly can nowadays um, for each job so they last a long time. I'm done buying cheap tools. And I got a few extra blades, got some of these blades, and then I got my Sawzall blades. So this is what I need right now so I can finish my job of hanging my uppers. So as I'm opening this kit, the first thing I noticed that I really like about it is the fact that it comes with this case. I like keeping my tools organized and this is a great way to do it when they come with their own case for a specific tool. Now this is great. This is a nice little case. I can put all these different blades in here. Uh, these ones are for metal, which I need metal right now. So all these smaller ones will fit in here. I got plenty of blades now for quite a while. Um, the large ones won't fit in there, but that's okay as long as I can keep these guys uh, organized. So I'm going to start with one of these double duty, the torch. Blades. Gotta finish the sawzall. Put my glasses back on. Safety first. And I gotta replace this blade. <laughs> Broke right off. Now the cool thing about this tool too, Ryobi, I love it. Pop this out. Pop this open, this lever. It just pulls right out. You just put the new one in. Close the lever, boom. <laughs> okay, I gotta pull this cabinet back down here. Okay, I gotta take that rail down. Plus, I think I have to move it over anyway. Nice. Now I think I could hang them, but I want to see because I don't think the end cabinet mount is that far in. So I'm going to go see how far that is and I'm going to measure where I actually need that mount to go. like I need a little bit more wood on the end of this. But I'll go ahead and install this so I can start getting these cabinets up. Now I need to cut a little strip of that rail for over there so I can hang that side cabinet. This is the perfect job for a brand new hacksaw. Oh yeah, look at that. It's nice, it's got a great grip. 
you could take this off and actually put have a little another saw but I'm just gonna take it off that'll be enough to level right there and screw in a few times so I'll take it off right in the middle here the, th the key about hack saws and wood saws is you want to let the saw do the work. You don't want to put too much pressure on it or else it'll, it'll jam up on you. So you got to get it started. A little section of section. I think it's time to dry fit the corner cabinet and uh, one of the uppers. I could try both of the uppers and see how much wood I have to put on the end there. Ha! Check it out! Yeah, when these are furred out, strips. Let's dry fit this guy again. And then one more. So I could actually move that bracket on the edge there, scoot it over a little bit because it doesn't actually overhang as much as I thought. Okay, sweet. Bing, bang, boom. Huge accomplishment today. Got the uppers dry fitted. I think that's where I call it for today. Uh, I'm gonna come back tomorrow, keep working on this kitchen, hopefully get the base wall built for this, get my lowers all hung. I'm gonna brace these cabinets also and screw them back to the, to the wall. Cause this is very flimsy material at the back of these cabinets. So what I'm gonna do is put the spacers on the back then I'm going to put a 2x4 on the inside of both of those areas. And then I'm going to screw it straight back to the 2x6 that's on the wall. So it's just going to make everything more rigid. I think this is turning out really cool. I'm excited.